Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee. Today is going to be a talk through video, well a talking video. And just a disclaimer you guys, um, I think I talked about it in a few of my other videos. I'm not a talker, okay? I'm an introvert, I don't like talking, I think a lot, and I usually don't even like talk that much about like serious topics. I just like to talk to you guys and connect with you guys, but not really like on, you know, deep subjects. <laughs> um, but you know, I decided to film this video because um, I'm going through something and I try to stay positive on my channel, although it's very hard, um, you know, you know, reading negative comments and all of that, it's really hard to stay positive, no matter how much of a positive person you are. Um, so yeah, so YouTube has taught me a lot about myself. Um, you know, it's a lot of good things that come out of being a YouTuber, but the negative comes along with it and I have really been struggling with it lately so um, you know not to be too negative I'm just going to get into the video but that's just a little disclaimer the topic of this video is um, basically having a hard time with your natural hair journey and you know, like I said, I try to stay positive because I feel like my channel is to encourage you guys to stay natural and all that good stuff. So I really try to stay positive. But at the same time, I have to be transparent because I know I'm not the only person who deals with some of the negative that comes along with being natural. Um, so that's why I'm recording this video because I felt like, you know, even though it may be kind of a negative touchy subject, it's still positive in a way because I'm able to, you know, open up this conversation and show you guys that I'm not perfect. Like, I'm no, I'm not a guru. Like, seriously, I just made a sweatshirt too. Um, in my sweatshirt shop called um, um, Guru Wannabe. It's so cute. I made it to match my Jordans and I can't wait till it comes in the mail. But anyway, <laughs> I'm not a guru. I am just a chick with natural hair who decided to film her journey and then it blew up into something else. And you know, it's a lot of pressure because even for me, because, okay, first of all, I decided to do YouTube and my blog and all these different projects that I'm doing. I decided to do it full time. I'm a freelance. I'm a freelancer basically. I make my living off of all of the different projects that I do. So, um, in that sense, that put pressure on myself because if I'm going to say this is my job, then I have to take it serious, right? Um, so that was pressure that I put on myself where I'm like, oh my God, I have to be a guru. But no, I don't have to be a guru. I'm not a guru. I don't know everything. Um, and, you know, I'm thinking about going to cosmetology school. There's a place here where I live called Del Marva Beauty Academy. I think I want to do... Um, I want to sign up so I can learn more instead of just doing like the self-learning because even though that helps too and learning about my own texture, but I think I want to take it more serious, especially like I said, because I put the pressure on myself to start this as a full-time job. So, you guys know I big chopped in 2012. I transitioned from um, like November 2011 to like May 2012, so it was about like six months. And then I big chopped, I had about three or four inches of hair. As a YouTuber, you get this, I don't know, this pressure to stay positive because you're wanting to motivate um, so many people. So you don't want to talk negative all the time. And who wants to just listen to somebody talk negative? But when it comes to our journey, it's important to stay transparent because a lot of people are dealing with the same things so when i first went natural i didn't like it well no when i first went natural i loved it because just the feeling of cutting it and being so brave i felt so liberated and i really did love the texture of my hair So that was cool when I first big chop because of course that's just the big chop that's not you really styling it so yeah I just was like oh my god I love it oh my gosh and then I 
the learning process started. So I tried to do a twist out. I didn't have the right products. I had absolutely, there's something in my eye. I think it's this fur flying around from this scarf. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, so, you know, once I had to actually style it, I was completely lost. Like, I didn't know what products to use. I didn't know the techniques. I was completely lost. But eventually, my hair started to grow. I started to grow, and I started to learn my hair, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And then my hair started to grow and I had to relearn my hair. And it was just like, it's always that up and down. It's like you love your hair, it starts to grow, and then you have to figure it out again. And that's happened to me constantly throughout my journey. Okay, so this was a protective style. And this was, I think, a Bantu knot out. This is me pulling it up into a puff another maybe a twist out this was my um oh man i forgot what i called it but it was another twist out type of style this was a flat twist out again there goes my puff i love a good puff this is a flat twist out um i think this was a braid out definitely my hanging bantu knot out um i think this was an old twist out this was a twist out on blown out hair, a twist out on wet hair, but definitely stretched after a few days. And this is a puff again. My wand curls, that tutorial went crazy. This is a twist out. Another puff. As you can see, puffs are my favorite. This is a bun, although most people kept thinking it's a puff, but it, it's a bun. That's a bun, but without stretching my hair or anything, it's like, you know my afro kinky hair into a bun this is a hanging bantu knot out the same style but stretched same style but stretched here comes the puff <laughs> i love my puffs you guys this was when i was into perm rods um it's still my favorite style ever but perm rods can be damaging so i kind of let those go for a minute and this is when i dyed my hair this is the red. This is when it was super, super red. This was a uh, hanging bantu knot out. This was wand curls, I think. Oh, no, that was the flat twist out. And this was when I straightened it and did my two big flat twists like I'm doing now. Same thing here. This was my um, goddess braid or goddess twist. This is when I did my pigtails. I love that style. This was my wash and go, like a true wash and go. This is my hair without product. This is my wash and go in a puff. This is a two strand twist out. Two strand twist out again. This is a twist out as well with the bantu knots, but I pulled it into a puff. And this is when I dyed my hair black and it ended up turning back to a dark reddish brown color <laughs> so this is my current state of my hair and that is where i am right now right now right now my hair is a blowout and then i just did two big chunky flat twists going into the back um because me and my hair are fighting right now like we are not friends we're still in love, but we're totally ignoring each other, rolling our eyes, you know, all of that. I just, we're not getting along right now. And I know I'm not the only person, so that's why I decided to make this video because I felt like there's somebody out there who can relate to what I'm feeling. So um, definitely let's start leaving comments down below, even if you have to press pause because I'm probably going to ask a lot of questions. But press pause and let me know where are you at in your journey. Are you guys fighting? You and your hair? Mine is called Raquel. Me and Raquel don't like each other right now. Like, seriously. Um, and this is kind of like an extension of my last video. Um, which, that video, the comments really pissed me off.